In today's video, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. We're going to be talking about dun -dun -dun -dun, how to start a podcast. And what I did personally, I have a podcast called Do Tell, and it's with my best friend Sanjana. And it actually started about a year ago, to be honest. I think it was about that much, but I got the idea to basically start a podcast. Like, kind of like, if you don't know Pretty Basic, that's what I was kind of going off of. But I really liked them because they were like two YouTubers that were best friends and just started the podcast and I was like, cool. So I was like, I have a best friend. So like, why not start the podcast, you know? So these are just like how I got started from the podcast. So, so I'm good. <laughs> So originally when we started the podcast, we had no idea what the heck to do. Of course, that's probably what all of you guys are doing right now. And you're like, I want to start a podcast by myself or with my best friend. To be completely honest, if you have a bunch of best friends, like about six of them, uh, or even three sometimes, it can feel like there's too many of you. You might want to rethink your, no, your plan so everybody can get their spotlight. But like, of course, we're not trying to be like J-Lo, you know, and Shakira's like halftime performance at the Super Bowl or anything but you just want to keep that as a main idea because I originally did start with three friend, well, three people including me <laughs> and it did get a little chaotic because like some people were talking a little too much than others but it wasn't like, you know, it just got like chaotic, you know that's kind of where we came to a realization that two is the best for us and whoever it was dedicated the most definitely is a good thing it's also a fun thing to do but you want to keep it also professional because there are things to do like editing and like business things like people want to like brand with you and partner with you which we haven't got that yet but we have done an anchor uh sponsorship on our podcast anchor is how we started off it's like the recording platform you can record on there you can edit on there and you can post to all of the platforms that you want which is like anchor spotify like wherever you even listen to your podcast it goes out there and you can select which ones you want and which ones you don't or if you just want to post it on Anchor, go ahead. But that's kind of the easiest way that we found. We just Google the best. It doesn't even have to be Anchor, but definitely recommend that. It's the easiest way to go, truthfully. And so when we originally started, you know, it was a little hectic with like all of us together, but you know, then we like kind of separated into just two of us. And then once we got there, we started thinking even more of a business platform. Like we were only recording on our actual phones um which you can actually definitely start with you're not going to be like a professional the first time you do it so i would definitely recommend just do it on your phone for the first time if you don't have a mic if you do have a mic i definitely will recommend yeti i actually myself i bought myself a mic about a week or two ago and i bought it in december but it came in january and this is the bad boy that I got. He's quite shiny. <laughs> but this is the Blue Nano. The Nano is truthfully just enough what you need for a podcast because it is like just enough like size wise and like it also bends down which is pretty nice and travel sizable if you wanna like, you know, record on the go which is really nice and efficient. Um, but yeah, I got this one because I heard that it has everything that you need for a podcast. And it was about only $99, so basically 100 bucks. But I got it on Best Buy, which is a really good site to get your stuff on. Amazon does jack them up a little bit, so be careful for that. Um, but yeah, I got it in like kind of like this silver grayish kind. But yeah, whatever works for you. Also, I really wanted to get the Yeti blue mic. It's not blue colored, but you can get a blue one. But they have a black, matte black, and they have a white. And there is a huge difference, guys. I'm not even kidding you, like a hundred dollars of difference just because of the color. So please don't get scammed by that. You don't need that other color and spend a hundred bucks on it when it sounds the same. So only do it for the sound quality, and the sound quality on mine is really nice. I actually uh, just recorded it, so on the episode that is the newest, definitely check that out because the podcast sounds amazing on that. But yeah, I think we both have mics now, so woo! 
She got the all matte black one and like the advanced advanced one. She really didn't need to get that. I, we just, it was crazy. We went through like a whole year's worth of like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get it, no I'm not. You know, cause it's a lot of money, but it's definitely a great investment for if you want your like podcast to be really professional and like, you know, still fun, but the quality and the sound quality is amazing. But as soon as you get all of your stuff, equipment, if you want to do that first, you don't even have to, you know, record on your phone, like I said. I think the most important tip I have for anybody who's starting a podcast is if it is by yourself or with a friend, just make it so casual. Don't make it scripted at all, literally. When Sanja and I go into our podcast, we literally don't even know what the heck we're going to be talking about until like a minute or five before we even start recording. And so I think that's definitely something to not overthink. Like we are starting to brainstorm like right before we even get on there. Like, oh my gosh, do you think it's a good idea if we talk about like, you know, gender quality, something like that, you know, like interesting to us that we can definitely see ourselves talking for hours about, but of course it's just for a good 45, 30 minutes. So we record on Saturdays too. So this, the next part, the most important part, but the whole thing is making sure you schedule things so you can be consistent. We are very consistent and we post every Saturday because we record on a Sunday and then we kind of swap rotations, which is actually a very nice thing about having a podcast with your best friend or a couple of best friends actually, because you can switch up the editing game. I edit on my Mac over here, um, but I think that's probably the best way. You don't really have to have a Mac, but if you do have a Mac, great for you. Again, you can edit on your phone, like on those apps, but I think having a Mac is really helpful. You can edit on uh, GarageBand, that's what my friend does. And I edit personally on Logic Pro X because one of my, I think my brother bought it in a package deal and it was like a whole family sharing thing. So it was really nice. And so that is really helpful, like truthfully show so much with it. I can show you guys real quick what it looks like when you go into Logic Pro, maybe. <laughs> again, Logic Pro X does cost some money, but again, the quality, you can record on there and then edit it right after, which is really nice. Some editing over here. That was from our last episode that I edited, but you, there's so many things you can do. <laughs> but if you guys want me to go into further depth of how to edit, podcast episodes, any questions you guys have, just shoot me questions at my Instagram page, uh, Layla Tamman, L-A-Y-L-A-T-A-M-E-N. I'm also really proud of myself because I'm keeping the consistency as I should. I just posted once a day, actually, of me and my Layla shirt that I can't show you because I'm sitting. Um, but yeah, it's really convenient for me to do that. But the whole scheduling game is really, really nice. Definitely do that or else you will not be consistent. Trust me, it sucks when you're not that way. Also, to promote your podcast, here are some amazing tips that I definitely and my best friend have thought of very in depth because we wanted to make our Instagram page very, very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so we are best friends. Uh, she's from New Jersey. I am, well, she's not from New Jersey. She lives in New Jersey. <laughs> And I live in Michigan right now. It's snowing outside, it's insane. We, of course, are not together, so we can't like meet up and record and all of that. Which again, if you are best friends with a friend that does not live with you, you can still record. Just do separate recordings and then send them to each other and then boom, put them together, edit all of that intro, outro. And also for the intros and outros, I'm going rambling everywhere. You definitely should consider the no copyrighted at all. We found ours on Thematic, which is amazing. It is a no copyrighted site. I definitely use the music for my YouTube videos and I, you know, use the intro and outro to our podcast. So it is very helpful. Very, very helpful. With our Instagram page, do tell official, <laughs> you know, take a look at it, follow it while you're at it, listen to the podcast while you're at it. As soon as you're, you know, done watching this video, because this is very important for you to start a podcast. Of course, you're not going to be exactly like us or any other podcast. You should be your own unique self. 
And so we kind of stood out by, you know, getting a color palette. Our color palette is basically like some blue, some dark, light, you know, white stuff. And so it's a whole feed. Take a look at it. It's amazing. We get our ideas on Canva and we, you know, just stick to the same color palette, save the colors, which you can do when you get in there. Again, I can teach you any of that stuff again, but just going over the whole spiel of that, you know, keeping the consistency aesthetic. And then with your following, just keep following people. <laughs> keep following because we right now, I think have like a thousand something followers and it is amazing. It's truly amazing. And with those followers gains people that subscribe to the podcast. And whenever you are on your podcast, please don't forget to introduce the podcast first because then they're not going to know what the heck they're listening to and then the host. But, you know, you don't have to do that every single time. But do tell. <laughs> but do tell the podcast name, okay? I said that's why I love the podcast that we have great name subscription and title and everything but at the end please do uh a whole bunch of things at the end recommend like you know your own personal accounts and follow them as well and uh, tell you what is on that you know follow the podcast subscribe like comment share all that jazz and also on anchor there's this thing called i think it's uh i don't know well it's monetization but like you can give the people the podcasters money that can actually help them boost like you know their equipment and everything that they're going through so that we can help with their career and boost it so please smile you know, smile. <laughs> so head to anchor but i asked you guys some questions um on my instagram page of like you know i was recording this video and i'm like okay tell me guys like what you want to know and so I got a couple actually. So that is basically the whole basis of how to start a podcast. If you want me to go even more in depth about how to, don't like hesitate to ask me, please follow my Instagram page. You're gonna love it. And so here are the questions. I got two of them. What are three things that you find annoying about having a podcast or working with your BFF? Uh, this is actually, <laughs> This is a funny one. Uh, so three things that annoy me. Okay, I wouldn't say anything really annoys me, um, but definitely working with your best friend is a little difficult because of course we don't live in the same state. And so that's something that I guess is annoying, but like, of course we can't help that. Um, another thing is you are business partners and you gotta think business th at that point. A third one is that we spend so much time on the podcast that we don't really get the time to like actually hang out, you know, sometimes. So it's like only on Saturdays we FaceTime for the podcast and then chat a little bit after. But I think that are probably the only three things that I would say are a little annoying. <laughs> not necessarily about my best friend, Sanjana. She's not annoying sometimes. <laughs> All right, last one. What were your thoughts when you first recorded or started the process? Um, it's a good one. I think that the thoughts that are going through my mind was like actually really excited. I was like, I'm gonna be like Alicia Marie and Remy Cruz. We're going to get this down. But of course, you know, I think my initial thoughts were how in the world are we gonna do this? Like, I don't know anything that we're doing. You know, I was like Googling everything at the start. Like, how do I do this? What should I use for this? How do I edit this? Like, how do I do this on Logic? You know, everything. And so I was like crazy about that stuff. But that was probably the main thoughts that were going through my head at the time. But I definitely kept my hopes, you know, and settled. <laughs> I settled them. I was like, we're not high hope in anything, but you know. Sometimes we do. Just go listen to the podcast and you'll understand what we're talking about. But anyways, guys, that was basically all the information that I have at the moment of the basics about starting a podcast. It's not as hard as you think, and it's definitely a fun thing to do. Lots of people do it, you know, for fun or even for like whatever their topic may be. Ours is basically like lifestyle and like funny stories, very relatable kind of like girlfriend talk thing. Like 
you know, like a chill, like laid in, like, you know, sipping, you know, your water <laughs> and talking about like stuff in life. But I think it's really cool. And I think you guys should definitely start it if you haven't, or if you don't want to, it's okay. But definitely just wanted y'all to know kind of the basis of how to start a podcast and that it's not that hard. I definitely hope for everybody out there that wants to start one, don't just start it to get popular, okay? Start it because you like it. It's an interest, it's a hobby. Maybe it can be a job one day. Maybe you want it to be your job. Um, we definitely consider this a hobby right now, but we want it to be a job in the future. It is a job for us to edit everything right now. But I definitely think it's something cool to do with your best friend or even with yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you stayed thus far, please give me a like and comment and subscribe and share this whole thing. And please don't forget to follow my Instagram page, Layla Tamman, please. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and leave some recommendations down below. Bye guys. See ya. Bye. <laughs> And I dropped out for a few months in my hometown Cause I'm moving on to picking better things